Hey everybody, old Drew here. Thought I'd process an image of Jupiter, and I thought I'd bring you along with me. See how I do things. And the way I do things, I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way, it's just the way I do things. But anyway, let's get started. We'll go with this uh, image right here. It says CR file. Shows you the frames, the region of interest, frames per second, date, UTRGB, all that jazz. But that's what we're going to use right there. A better an image. So the first process I use, or the first software I use, is going to be PIP. I'm going to use PIP to stabilize the object and also center it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click that planetary. That's the only thing I'm going to do there. I'm not going to do anything in that tab. This tab, all I'm going to do is disable cropping. Now, the only thing I'm going to do now is go to this one, second to the last. In the output format, I'm going to keep it as an SCR, and I'm going to make sure I generate the WinJupos uh, file names so um, it can uh, run it through WinJupos and derotate it. Okay, let's go get that booger in here and drop her on in. Bam! The answer to that question is yes. It's going to show us a screenshot of what we got. It's going to tell us our frame count, our ROI. There's our uh, RGB information. Now, before I get going here, first thing I'm going to do is go to this process right here. See this uh, test object threshold? I'm going to hit that make sure this thing's all the way in there. Yep. Sometimes you'll get an image and it'll be like a halfway hanging off frame and screw you all up in the long run there. Okay, everything's good. So I'm going to go to this last tab. Get to do processing and start that processing. All right. So we're going to push pause until that booger gets done and uh, I'll get right back with you. Okay. Okay. Pip's all done. Tell that was just 100% 101. Let's see what it gave us here. It's going to pop up a file when it gets done. There it is. See how stabilized it is here. Oh, yeah. See how the thing's centered? It got a little bit of fluctuation there because of the the scene conditions, but that's about it, really. Looking good. So far, so good. Okay, we're done with the pip. What I usually do on the project that I'm working on, or the image I'm processing, I just go ahead and throw everything on the, uh, the uh, main screen there, so I don't got to go digging around any files. But okay, the next thing I got to do is I'm going to derotate this sucker with when you post there. But first, before I do that, I'm going to open up this Auto Stacker 3. I'm going to drop her on in there, and it says, there's my frame count right there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take that. Oh, let me get my cell phone here, get my calculator going. There it is. I'm going to take that 38,534 and divide it by two. That's going to put me right there in the middle. That's the uh, area that I want to uh, use when I derotate. So the number is going to be 19267192. It doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. 19, ooh, that's pretty close. 91. Okay. So then what I try to do when I get close to the middle, I try to find me a good looking, one of my good frames. That I can use to uh, make a measurement with. Let's see if that's good. Yeah. I tell you what, they all look pretty darn good. I'm going go with that one right there. See where it says export frames? Current one? I'm going to 
hit that button right there. I'm going to make sure I go into my desktop. Hmm. Hmm. And push save. Let's see what it did. There it is. Okay, we're done with the Auto Stacker 3 right now. We're going to open up WinJupos. We'll go here. We're going to make sure the celestial body is Jupiter. We're going to go over here. And we're going to. Oh, sorry. No. Image measurement. No. Okay. Open. There's my file. Bam. Why did you give me that again? Go over here to the adjust file. Go here. I'm going to hit auto detect or F11. It's going to automatically put it there. Bam. I can zoom it. I can unzoom it. Oops. Whatever. Whatever's clever. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go. Save that measurement. Save. Bam. Go ahead and close it all out. And there's our measurement right there. We're going to open up Winjupos again. Go over here to Tools. Go over here to the Rotation of Video Stream. Pop that. Slip my old SCR file in there. And then the measurement we just took. And then hit start the rotation of video stream. Bam. All right. Now we got to do is wait on that booger to get done. We'll be off to the races. So as soon as it gets done, I'll get right back with you. All right. Well, when you both done doing what it's supposed to be doing, my next thing to do would be stacking images with Auto Stacker 3. Go ahead and drop her on in there. That's your planet's dynamic background. My noise roll bus is at six because I got 300% or 350% gain on my capture. And I'm going to auto size on my analysis. I got my color at auto detect. Analyze. When it analyzes, it's going to give me a graph when it's done. And it's going to separate the frames. The first are going to be in the my best are going to be in the front, and my worst are going to be in the back. All the way down. The best image, second best, third image, and so on. Right now it's analyzing. It's going to reference frame to line. Tell me what we got. Hopefully it's a good one. We'll have a good image. It'll be posted on our Facebook groups and get a bunch of likes. And the rule of thumb on this graph is a lot of people go with the 50%. Don't stack any more than 50%. I mean, that's, that's what the norm is, I guess you could say. But you don't have to be normal. Do what you want to, man. Here's our graph. That's going to be my best image. Out of all 38,000 plus. I can show you here. Watch them uh, degrade as I go down. Or let's show you my bad worst one. There's my worst one. See how bad that one is? It's on the very end. My best one's going to be the very front. Okay, on this one here, I'm going to we'll move this bar over to where I think 50% is. And I want to hold down the control button. And I'm going to snap the mouse. Bam. See where it said gave me 33%? I believe that's right there where that 50% mark is. See right here, it's 25, 50, 75, and that would be 100. And the number of frames is, you know, 25%, 50%, 75%, and so on. So right about here, I guess it's about, it's about 50%. I'm going to go with 50%. Sometimes I go with less. I want the good frames, but I'm going to really get a bunch of frames in there stacked. Now, let's go with... Placing our points of interest. Let's see what 56 looks like. I'm going to go with 48 maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. 
Other people say it's not enough. Some people say it's too many. Like I does my outline of my planet. Oops. One thing you don't want to do is put one of these points of interest out here. That is a big mess up. Or like this. Oops. And have the red spot on the dark and little edge of your planet on the outside there. Oh man, that'll mess you up big time. Be sure all your red dots and all your all your points of interest are on the inside. If it sticks out a little bit like this, it's no big deal. Mm. All right, that's my points of interest. No, I don't need that one there. Mm. All right. Oops. Now, I got them taken care of. There's my 33% I want to do. I'll make sure this is on uh, frame one, my best friend, because this is the one that's going to be um, but the, all the file, all the frames are going to be stacked on this best frame compared to this best frame. So I stuck the stack. So let's see here. I got 33%. I'm going to normalize the stack at 75%. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to RGB align just to make it look that much better. And it's going to save it to the folder. Drizzle? No. I'm going to do that to small images. It takes a lot longer and I like to size of this anyway. So I guess we're ready to do a stackalicious stack. This might take a bit, so I'm going to get right back with you. Okay. All the stacker threes all done doing this thing. See, 100, 100. Let's check out the uh, finished product. Show the output directory. Which is right there anyway. I'm just doing my laptop screen. And here's the finished product. Doesn't look like too much yet, does it? But it's going to. I'm going to swing these on out of here. Okay. This process. Register six. Register six. First thing I want to do is do an RGB balance. Reset. All right. One note here is uh, anything over 1.00 on the histogram, you're going to be losing data. Like this 1.6, you're going to be losing a little bit of that blue. Well, take it down a tick. On all three, so it'll stay the same. All right. Kind of like that. The fun part. These are the slider bars. The best way they can explain the slider bars are think of them as paintbrushes. The bottom one is your biggest, thickest brush. And this top one is going to be your thinnest one. Give you the more little details. You can do this any way you want, but let's just see what happens. I'm going to slide this one like that. Bear you like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, like that. Mm. 
We don't want to denoise our detail. We're going to do a little something with it, didn't we? Anyway, I'm going to flip it a little bit, do a little twist and shout. I'll buy that for a dollar. We're going to clean this up in uh, Photoshop. Let's do all, save image, save it to the desktop. Bump, 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 S1, I'm oh, sorry, J1. No, that's our first. Do it. Do there. Next process is Photoshop. Open sesame. You know what? I won't even do another. Do another sharpen one. Bam. Now, let's do a little color saturation with the TK Luminosity mask. I like this one. Yeah. Over here, right click it, do a little merge. Merge the visible. Alright. Still looking pretty good. This is my favorite thing on Photoshop, believe it or not. I still love Vista Green. Mm. I'm going to do that. See what I'm doing. I still a feast. I'm going to do a strong one. See, like. see, there's no set thing to do these things. You just do it to where keep pigeon with it until it gets done. Well, even like this strong one better. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get rid of this noise just a little bit with my dust and scratches. I don't do that despeckle too much because this stuff is pretty severe. Mm. There it is. Mm. Nope, I liked it the way it was. It looks a little light for me, but you know what? When I post it, I'm going to look that way. It's going to look a lot darker.
J2. And there's the finished product. Not too bad, no? Pro J U P. Anyway, the Godfather of the Galaxy. Push guys.